Well, I got a plaque for the engine, which has all the specs on it. So this is a little stainless steel plaque, which uh, has bore, stroke, chamber, deck, cam, compression, uh, etc. So then what I'm gonna do with this guy is, once I see how the engine looks in there, I'm probably gonna put it, you know, right in here somewhere. That way, you know, it'll look something like this. So I got that. I'm not going to stick it on there yet. Um, it has a pretty good adhesive thing on the back here, so I'll just stick with that rather than screwing it in. So, and the other thing that I wanted to do today is test this shroud on the Hoover bit and make sure that I don't need to do a Hoover bit adjustment. So I'm going to go do that right now. All right, well, let's see how this thing fits. So... Well, actually, I have to take the throttle tube out first. All right, now let's see how this thing fits. So, just set this over top. Got the Hoover bit down there. seems to fit pretty well here so you know this is the Hoover bits little uh, fastening bolt or uh, hole for the um, the only thing on this shroud that I have noticed is that it's see the gap here there's a gap and I feel like what's happening is this the tin is hitting here, and so I'm going to need to probably trim that just a little bit. Let's look on this side. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to trim off. Uh, let's see if it's on just on the front. It looks like I have to trim off the bottom of this a little bit, and the bottom of this a little bit just to let it sit a little lower. Let's see on the back here. It's hard to tell. I have to let's see with the light. Yeah, you know that seems to actually be the the biggest problem. It's maybe right here. Um, that's hitting. So in order to get this shroud to sit a little lower, I'm gonna mark what I need to trim. All right. Okay, so I identified three spots where I have to trim the shroud just a little bit. The first is right under here. You can see that it hits the case, causing this gap right here. Second place is the same place on the other side. Basically it hits right in here. So trim that a little bit. And then on the back, It hits right here, so I need to trim. Well, it doesn't hit that much, but it hits a little bit there. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find a little sanding bit and uh, for my Dremel and take it a little off.
Okay, well, I found another place that needs trimming. If you look here, the reason why this thing still doesn't sit, still doesn't sit well here, is because this back portion is hitting right. So, hard to get the light right, but, so I'm gonna trim that off. All right, so I got this to then sit down properly. And I did that by trimming this area here. <clears throat> this area here. And this area, you can see it, this area right. So that makes the alternator sit nicely on there and then I'll be able to um, take this clamp and this is going to go like this just to test it all out. Uh, let's see. I guess you can do it this way. And then on the flat flat part here, I just uh, Yeah, that's really tight. Nice and tight. That fits onto there. Fan is spinning nicely without rubbing anything. And on the back. Fan spins without hitting much. I can feel the air. So I think that should be good. Let me just look at the gap here on the on the fan. So when you look here, it looks like there's a big gap here, but actually when you look closely, it's actually not that big of a gap because of the way the inside of that fits. So I think that's great. And this Hoover bit bolt now lines up perfectly as well. So with a washer, that ought to bolt down nicely. Okay, well, those are the adjustments to the shroud. Oh yeah, one last thing to test. Now that I have this, the shroud is on there. That's the way it's gonna be, so let's see if my uh, alignment of the uh, pulleys was good enough. So let's see, I'm gonna just let this look straight down the line of the pulley. Let's see. And then I'm gonna put this kind of mock this up how this would look if it were tight looks like that and that I would say uh, you know if anything I think it's gonna be fine if anything this pulley could either come out or this could go in but I think this is actually gonna work fine as is yeah, that's pretty straight. All right, so I'm all prepped here.